guys, welcome back to Get Bigger More Land. In this episode, we are going to be doing the Cook Mola. Here we go, 60,000 jellyfish. Yes, I mean, we have a lot. So, ooh, he looks like a chef. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? Feels like it has a dirty mouth. Bonus growth is plus 40%. That is insane. Speed is good. Jump is good. Gravity is um average, I would say. But whatever, let's see if he has any buddy. He's bound to have a buddy, but uh, we gotta find out the buddy. So let's see. Submarine, Ninja, Ghost, um, mm -hmm. Ghost again, Rudolph, Space, none, none, uh, hmm. Wait, what? Okay, there you go. Cook Mola, the ladle. Good for soup and thief. <laughs> what? Thief? I mean, I really don't know why it's connected to the thief, but increase eating range by 20% and when with cook, Mola pulls small enemies. <laughs> Let's go on with the ladle for the first stage. Wait a minute, I completely forgot to even equip him. Where are you, cook, Mola? I just bought you. Please get equipped, Jed. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get cooking. Okay, cook, Mola. So, tell us about yourself. Hmm, let's see. Hmm, I mean, I don't know how to cook. They just called me a cook for no reason. Wait, what? A cook who doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty contradicting. But anyway, moving on. It's not really, you know, the name that matters. It's really what, you know, you can do that matters. So, yeah, that made no sense. <laughs> but moving on, dude. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay, wait, his bonus growth is pretty fast. Oh, yeah, by the way, his bonus growth is just 40%. And the uh, ladle causes, uh, I mean... Uh, enhances your eating range by 20% and it pulls enemies close to you so hmm it's a good combination just like the pirate and the hook and uh, I forgot about the other combinations but moving on there are some similar combinations like that where you can you know uh, there's a mola with a growth a bonus growth ability but uh, and uh, a buddy with a growth I mean wait a pulling enemies thing right <laughs> wait we reached stage 3 Wait a minute, did we actually reach stage 3? That's insane! <laughs> whoa, whoa, nice, nice, nice! But so now, it's time to get the heart, you know? The heart of kindness, you know? Yes, banana peel! Okay, I guess this episode is gonna be super tiny because his bonus growth is, uh, yeah, plus 40%. So, yeah, this Mola is just flying through these stages, dude. It's really cool, but what can I say? Hmm, let's see. Mm -hmm. Hello, squid. Uh, is there an octopus nearby? Because I have an idea for a beautiful dish. It's called the uh, the octatuli. You know, the ratatouille where they use rats. I mean, they actually don't use rats, okay? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna be, you know, trying to make the octatuli, you know? I mean, that really made no sense, but whatever, man. I'm a cook. I can do whatever I want. I'm pretty innovative. So, oh no, the goldfish. Oh, banana peel. Yes. Uh, I'm scared of goldfishes because they're pretty shiny and, yes, they're pretty hard to catch, you know? I mean, aren't all fishes hard to catch because of the slimy uh, uh, scales and nature and uh, mucus all over the bodies because they need to swim in the ocean without any friction and they have... Whatever, this is not a science class, banana peel. Just focus on the game, you know? Okay. <laughs> ah... Crabs, crabs, goldfishes! Hello, goldfish! You wanna be in my tummy? I guess so, because you already got in my tummy. I mean, I'm not eating them, okay? I'm just uh, putting them in my uh, pocket, I guess, because, you know, I have a shirt and a scarf and uh, a hat where I can hide some food stuff, you know? Yes. So that's where all of these uh, edible foods are going. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're perishable, so. You gotta, you know, make sure you use them pretty quick. So, you gotta keep them in a refrigerator. Yes! Let's go! Wait, what was that? Wait a minute, did my vocal cords just vibrate for no reason? I mean, that's how sound works, right? Whenever you're talking, you're, 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 something in your throat just vibrates. So, yeah, I mean, I'm guessing that's what happens. Moving on. <laughs> Hello. Yes, uh, any uh, tuna? Yes, thank you, tuna. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. Shark is bad for health. No, shark should be unhealthy, banana peel. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? Let's just take it slow, you know? Yeah, pretty much everything is going so fast. It's really hard to, you know, uh, make sure you guys understand what I say. So, <laughs> yeah, let's take it slow. Let's breathe, you know? Just take a deep breath. Ah, I mean, that was a pretty <laughs> short deep breath, but I mean, if it's a short deep breath, isn't that a, a shallow breath, banana peel? I mean, I really don't know. But anyway, dude, moving on. So, hmm. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are all safe and sound and... Oh my gosh. These sharks are so... Ah, scary, man. Oh my gosh. 
The, these killer whales, man. Oh, no. I mean, orcas, banana peel. I really don't know why I keep calling them killer whales. But in the achievement, you gotta eat a couple of orcas instead of saying killer whales. That's how I found out that they're actually called orcas and not killer whales. But aren't they the same thing? I don't know. If they are the same thing, why are they, you know, called in two different names like the killer whale and the orcas? Maybe, you know, maybe the orcas are called uh, orcas on sea and when they are on land, they are called um, killer whales. <laughs> that made no sense, dude, but... Ah, let's take a deep breath again. In and out. Ah. Yeah, it's hard to do that while actually, you know, performing that task, but... Ah, moving on. It's a nice calm evening out there. <laughs> I mean, I would like to give it another try, so... Let's go again. Okay, let's try to breathe slowly again. Let's just relax, you know, just take in the environment. No, no. Oh, oh. Those tuners were really um, ferocious there, so I had to, you know, scream just to panic and uh, use my dash. It's like a reflex, you know. So, yeah. Ah, let's just, you know, breathe in and out. I mean, what if you breathe out and in, banana peel? I mean, isn't that against nature you can't you know breathe out without letting anything in <laughs> i mean if that was possible that'd be pretty cool but ah <sighs> hello tunas marlins okay calm down banana peel just relax you know just relax take everything in oh yes nice yes ah <sighs> by the way what uh you know these marlins right <laughs> they have like a pointy nose that looks like a sword apparently or like uh you know like those uh, musketeer swords or something like that. So, what? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! What do they function as in real life? I really don't know. If you guys know, please comment down below. No, my gosh. Yeah, as of now, wh what I think that their function is is, um, you know, like a barbecue. Like they, you know, they put, you know, like meat and uh, veggies on stick, and they pretty much just sizzle it in a barbecue. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What happens? <laughs> So yeah, as of now, I pretty much revived actually, so, hmm, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, the Marlins, as of now, I think that they, you know, they pretty much just collect uh, some fishes and some um, seaweeds and some kelp in their um, nose, the pointy one, and pretty much they just make a, like a, you know, a humongous burger and they pretty much just sizzle it in the sun, just add some pepper and salt, which is provided by the ocean, I mean, where does pepper come from? Does it come from salt? <laughs> I mean, what? Wait a minute, if pepper came from salt, why is it called pepper? No, no, come on, dude. I mean, I can't get any further. The theory of the Marlin's nose is unsolved. And that was it for this episode, guys. If you had fun, please subscribe. And in the next episode, we will be doing the Devil Mola. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.